The other day, I was having a good rummage around in the loft, and I found something. What did you find, Alex? A black box. What? <laughs> Alex stumbled across something that absolutely terrified him. Do you find anything else in the loft? You didn't find the, the bodies? So what I found was an old hard drive, and on there, it dates back to 2010, I think. I'm having a great day today. Which is a long time ago, that's 11, 10 years. 10 <laughs> years, Matt, that's 10 years ago, jeez. I went to the shop and bought some chips. And we're gonna just go through that, have a look, because some of that footage I haven't seen for 10 years. This is gonna be exciting. <laughs> oh, no, I that may be quite embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna be fun, I don't think. That was a truly amazing experience. So, we actually started making videos probably, what do you reckon, 14 years ago, Alex? Yeah, about that. So yeah, probably about 14 years ago, we actually started doing bits of filming and stuff on a very cheap little camera. And a lot of that footage wasn't really about fishing. We weren't into fishing that much at the time. We'd sort of go cycling and running around in the forest and we'd just video pretty much everything that we did. And then, we started getting into fishing and filming that with this camera that you see here. The history for you. Yeah, that's actually a camera. The first was our mum's one, wasn't it? And then you had a little compact one as well. But then I had another one, because the other one got wet and broke, and then that was the... So that was actually the fourth camera. Yeah, and then since then we've had a few others, including this one. Over the years, we've gone through a few cameras for numerous different reasons. That is not good. That was probably the worst loss I've ever had. I felt so stupid. That was a bad one. But yeah, we've upgraded through the years and worked harder to make better videos, but the first four years of our fishing films are actually gone. They're lost in time because our YouTube channel disappeared one day, our old one, the one which we had before the one that you're watching now. So we lost a lot of videos, about 100 videos on there that are all completely gone, which is a bit of a shame, but maybe quite good for the purposes of this video, which means we don't get quite as embarrassed as we might have been. But let's start at the beginning of this hard drive. As you can see, it doesn't say the old lost hard drive. <laughs> Where's the old lost hard drive? <laughs> that, was a, that, wasn't, that, that was a prop. That was a prop. <laughs> that wasn't actually anything. Alex! That was a black, just a our black. Our videos are lies. If you haven't realized already, this video is actually going to be us watching us. So basically, Carl and Alex react to Carl and Alex. So the first footage we actually have, the earliest remnants of Carl and Alex fishing. Remnants. Comes from 2010. <laughs> Let's go, Alex. I'm here today at Cookfield Lake. It's um, it's a pretty big lake. It supposedly holds a few double fi figure fish. What so I love about that. <laughs> nice pan. Not only is my whole shadow <laughs> covering the whole shot, but if you look up in the top of the shot, you can <laughs> see our mum <laughs> sat there on a chair supervising us. Good episode. Next up, we're at Cookfield Lake again. <laughs> Same place. Hi, I'm here today at Cookfield Fishery and I'm going to be method feeder fishing. Uh, my rig is just six pound mainline down to a Preston method feeder. <laughs> it was so nice when it was on the drive on. Get yeah, close up, you have to ruin it. With a Corum quick stop. We liked our rigs back then. I know, we used to go into a lot more detail with like our tactics. Now we do that on our tutorials channel though, so. Really and I'm going to try them later. If I get in smaller fish, if I want to get bigger fish, I'll change to the bigger fish. Reebok. <laughs> nice hoodie, man. Nice hoodie. Bring it through. That's a good cast, though. I'll go there. I just love how small you are. Yeah, compared to the seat box I'm sitting on, you tiny. you started off that small and cute and ended up that big and ugly. <laughs> I don't know how it's possible. Cheers, mate. Is there any any is there any good bits? No, I don't think so. Why am I asking for good bits? And that will lead you success to method feed fishing. <laughs> oh no! <clears throat> I don't know how it's so bad. What oh. are we gonna watch next? We got. I'm so entertained. So 2010 was clearly a great year for angling. Later on in 2010, we really got into our bait making. Okay, um, I'm going to show you how Kay. to mix up ground bait for bream. 
Um, I've got some Sensor's Magic ground bait, which I just poured into the bowl. Um, <laughs> I've got empty bowl. Um, <laughs> I've got an empty bowl there. It's just, a, it's just an empty bowl. Okay, first step. Gang day. Pour so. some ground bait. <laughs> Can we try to pour it? Bowl. I don't like this at all. <laughs> It's a bit boring. Yeah, definitely. Just check out her t-shirt though. Oh yeah, I drew that. I wrote hooks on fishing. Why not? On new your t-shirt. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make paste. What I love about this is the kettle. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fancy. Mum's lovely new kettle. Getting it covered in disgusting pellet paste. The amount of value in these videos is insane. It's just very valuable information. Oh no, I don't want to watch that. Oh, we started using music by this point. <laughs> Great music for a fishing video. Oh, tunes, mate. Oh, the quality music. Hi, I'm at Ten Yards Fishery. Fishing with the MIDI shotgun feeder Ooh. and I haven't even got the camera ready and I've got what feels like a good fish. This was our first ever night on the bank. Ever. It was, it was yep. isn't it? First ever night, night fishing trip. And we thought, you know, you go to sleep and then you just wake up in the morning and start fishing again. But no. You beepers. Get that food in you boys. <laughs> You've got lots of growing to do. That's pretty cool. It's the first proper, like, mm. epic fish in one of our videos, I'd say. Yeah, that was quite cool. That was pretty fun. <sighs> well done, Trev. Look at that. Covered in snotty stuff. <laughs> Lovely. Covered in snotty stuff. I actually remember that night because they had two fish, didn't they? They had one did, each. Did, yeah. And we didn't wake up for either of the boys. They were, like, shouting at us. They were shouting at us, and we were just fast asleep in our little tent that our granddad got us. Slept on the floor, on the bank it was like sloping like that. We just both rolled into the bottom of the tent in the night. Um, you hook a catfish in this. I do, don't I, at the end. The next day. Every now and then we get a nice shot. Sort of. Not really. Um, Richard and Trevor have just gone to have, have breakfast. And my clutch is still going. Oh my god, Alex, this is intense. Oh. Proper, intense. Proper intense. Nice jumper once again. So in this video you got Lonsdale hoodie. Mm. The other video you had Reebok. Oh I had Slazinger um, trackies. We were just... We, we were just, such cool kids. We were the Sports Direct kids and don't anyone, don't let anyone take that away from us, alright? I'd rather not be known for the Sports Direct <laughs> kids, to be honest. Okay. Anyway, anyhow, anywho, I don't actually want to. Oh, I can't stand that. that. I can't stand that. It's dreadful. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Jeez. Well, neither of us have ever had good hair, but that is that's in dreadful. That's so bad. <laughs> like I'm just looking. I'm just staring at your face. Like, it's like a, it's a wild <laughs> animal. <laughs> it's not a human. <laughs> At least we've tried this time yeah, to make it better to watch. Yeah. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> Not because it's good. <laughs> Thing is, there's a huge, huge difference between this and what we just watched. Hi, we're here again <laughs> in the horrible weather. It's raining Ooh, what's like that next to you? Um, it's raining like nice hell. Set up here, a nice umbrella. Oh, it's and an umbrella. Sit in there filming in the building. <gasps> um, we're going to be pulled for What a contraction that is. F1. Well, you've got a nice oh. gap between your teeth there. Yeah, how did that happen? What I really like in this video is the use of flip round transitions. It's very, very technical. Oh my god. What? That font. But the thing is, I bet when we made they were like, yeah, that's yeah, sweet, sweet that's font, man, sweet font. Awesome video. A time lapse. Hi, my name's Alex, and welcome to another video in association with Angler's Mail. Angler's Mail magazine decided that. We were good enough to make some videos for them. <laughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> at this point, yeah, our videos were starting to get a few more views. We were in, like, in the hundreds of thousands or so total views on our channel. Mm. 
and Angler's Mail magazine started moving into online. And they, at the time, paid us £10 per video that they posted on their channel. So we'd make a video, they'd pay us £10 and they could use it on their YouTube channel. Why they would want this content on their YouTube channel, well, that's a, that is a confusing matter, but they did. Yeah, this is when we got our first sponsorship from MIDI and 30 plus. They were, they were cool. They sent us some free stuff and a hoodie, which was like way too big for you. <laughs> Plane, easy jet. They've gone bust now. No, they haven't actually. They didn't refund me for my return flight. Though. Didn't they? No. Now that's ready to go and hopefully ready to catch another fish. Cheesy thumbs up. What did I just watch? So what is clearly evident from our videos in 2012, specifically, is that we ha we, we were trying quite yeah. hard. Like, we were mm. really put, putting in some effort to try and learn how to make videos. Uh, we were, really weren't doing a great job, but at least we were out there fishing and trying mm. to... I remember, though, that was... Better content. That was when we were at school and every single weekend we would go out and film a video. Without, without fail. Yeah, without fail. It was hard graft. Hard oh, crap. Back in 2012. But I seem to remember the voiceovers were quite bad. This video is about our quest for a £20 carp. Yeah, quite over dramatic. Get ready for the most dramatic piece of footage in fishing history. It wasn't long before I got an amazing bite. I got one eventually. <laughs> Electrical gear. I just saw some fish. <laughs> My heart just sank. Did you just lose it? Yeah, I did. More importantly, yeah, it's... <sighs> what? Did you just fart? No. You might... Oh, God, you did. No, I didn't. Or well, unless it slipped up without me noticing. <laughs> but was he to get <laughs> another chance? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that music, man. Wow. It's like the first time we'd actually... Reeled in a big fish though. Yeah, it was. I say big, yeah, but big, big enough. To, yeah. Come on. Oh. All the crowd has gathered. <laughs> oh, look. When was this? Bream fishing. My hair in that, there, mm -hmm. my hair looks like on that day, like my hair will look by the end of this isolation lockdown thing. Nothing can prepare me for what happened next. Oh, this is weird. Why have I not struck it yet? Oh, I remember this now. <laughs> One last shot of probably the ugliest fish I've ever caught. Great banter. Yeah. Look at your mouth. I oh, know, I was like proper trying to do it. Oh, it was so shallow. And there he goes, fight another day. Thanks very much for watching Tight Lines and Wet Nets. <laughs> oh dear. Wait, this is 2013. Yeah, and you've put in brackets on that folder, stepping up our game. I don't think that's stepping up our game in the slightest, Alex. I don't know how we got worse from the other That before. video was true. that's mad, yeah. Evidently, for the first time in my life, I was actually getting some semi-reasonable footage. Well, this, is, this is so cool. I love that. Although I didn't really have to do very much. I just put a GoPro on the end of a pole and put it underwater. That's a nice time lapse. So what's this winter carp adventure? Oh, oh, look at that text. Did you do that on Photoshop? Yeah, liquefy. Really? That did it? Yeah. Class. <laughs> wow. So that was pretty bang on that, you know? I think it was 2014 when we did our first proper carp fishing campaign. That was at the, at the park lake. That's what got people contacting us and got yeah. us our jobs I think that's yeah that's like it was after soon after that when you got your job at Nash wasn't it mm. that's sort of that there is <laughs> how how is he do English <laughs> there's a little look at some of our 
oldest videos. There was a lot of cringe in this video and there was a lot of quite embarrassing moments and footage that we're really not proud of, but you do sometimes when you look back at your life have to have to just take a step back and go, okay, that's embarrassing, that's not who I am now, but that's who I had to be to get to mm. now. Yeah. Like, and I wouldn't say I look back at those videos and I'm proud of them because they're just rubbish. Mm. But we were learning, we were progressing, we were trying hard and growing our skills and whatever. So, so be it. You can't mm. change the past. No. I'm happy to just leave it how it is and... I'm not. How can I change? Well, it's safe to say that Alex and I, being stuck in our house for the last few weeks, have absolutely lost the plot. So there's a look back at our past, but looking towards the future, okay. providing we're, we're actually allowed out of our house at some point this year, mm. we're going to continue expanding our horizons, broadening the content that we make, and hopefully still entertaining you guys who watch our videos. In another 10 years, we're going to do another look watching back. back at old embarrassing videos. That reminds me, we better take the hard drive that we're working on now and write on it old lost forgotten hard drive and then chuck it up in the loft again. Yeah, so it can collect loads of dust and you can blow it off. <laughs> well, who put those things there? Thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed and took something useful out of it. We'll see you guys in another video. But for now, click one of the videos here, that side, and enjoy some more fishing videos. See you guys soon, peace. Thanks for watching, it's time to get the bus home.